We're talking about 10 affordable makeup and skincare items. Well, there's one hair care in here too that every woman needs to have in her bag. Let's go exploring and let's go shopping together for these 10 amazing products right now. Hi there friends, I am so excited to be bringing you these because these are 10 products that I feel like are kind of hidden gems. Yes, they are affordable products. And when I say affordable, I guess that's kind of subjective to everyone. You know, what might be affordable to a millionaire might be a $120 face cream that none of us could ever touch. And yet when I look at something at the Dollar Tree, I may look at that as affordable. So really it's just very subjective, but I feel like these are quite affordable products and they're products that I don't hear talked about a lot. So I wanted to bring those to you and have all kinds of fun with them today. Also, if you're new here and you have not subscribed, please subscribe because I'm trying so hard to hit 100,000. That is my goal for the year. I am six years on YouTube this month in April, and that is my goal and my hope to be able to do that very, very soon. And if you are new here, you probably don't know about my numbering system, which is quite easy to use. Each product that I hold up throughout this video will have a number next to it. So that number will correspond in the description box with the actual product. You don't have to write down the entire description of the product, just jot down the number, go down in the description box, and it will be linked next to the number for easier shopping for you if you'd like to do that. Also, I will link my shirt. Let me just push back a little bit. It's kind of a fun shirt that is just a little bit more of a dressy t-shirt. And then as well, I do link my earrings for you. If there's any jewelry or rings that I'm wearing, I try to link those for you as well. Also, any makeup that I'm wearing on my face will be linked down below the products that I talk about in this video. Let's start out with something that I was really surprised at how much I liked it. It's not a makeup or skincare item. It's actually a hair care item. And it is one that I introduced you all to in my 25 products at Sephora under $20 video that I did last month. This is from the Inky List and it's the Peptide Volumizing Hair Treatment, best for fine hair. And I have very fine hair. And the further along I get into menopause and into my 50s, the more fine my hair seems to become. But we still need to remember that it needs moisture. It needs protected, even though that it is dead cells like our fingernails are. And that's what this does. I really do feel like as I'm working it, I only use a couple of drops of it really. Um, I will pour maybe maybe that much. So that is like maybe five drops in my hand and then I'll just work it around my hands like this and then I'll go through my hair. And I can even do it when it's dry. It's very quick drying so you don't have that problem with it being a sticky product. I do feel like it really coats the hair well and that it really does give a lot of pretty volume. And I'm really excited about it. So that is one product that I don't hear people talking about at all, but I really have been enjoying it for my fine limp hair doesn't weigh it down, by the way. I should tell you that as well. Another product that I really enjoy that I have talked about a million times, but I'm going to say it in this video because I don't hear very many other people talk about it. And I think that it is one of the best skincare products that I've ever run across. Very affordable from the good molecules is the niacinamide brightening toner. I love this stuff. I use it every single morning and without fail. I, I absolutely love it. And I always have a backup in my drawer. I have like one use of it left in here and then I need to uh, go get my other bottle. But it says formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. Okay, first of all, niacinamide is the star here. Niacinamide is one of those product that products that is just a good guy all around for the skin. Niacinamide is a sweep for your pores. It will go in and it will get all the dirt and the sebum and everything and it'll just sweep out those pores and then it will help them tighten up a little bit. It also pairs so well with everything else. So if you want to use niacinamide with your Retin-A, with your vitamin C, with any of your other skincare products, it's going to pair up so well, won't have any sort of a counter uh, reaction to each other. It's just one of those good guys 
guys, for the skincare industry. This also has vitamin C in it, which is an antioxidant and a brightener. So along with the niacinamide being the brightening agent, the vitamin C does that as well. It just really helps to liven dull skin. Licorice root does the same thing. Licorice root is known to be a pigmentation brightener. So it really can help with your skin if it looks dull, as well as does our Arbutin. They are really great, fantastic ingredients for helping your skin to look its very best and not have any of that dullness we get as we age. So this is an all around wonderful skincare product. I really noticed the tightening of my pores probably after the third week. Normally on a skincare product, I don't make those kind of boasts, but on this one, I noticed how tight my pores were getting. They looked smaller, they looked more refined, and my skin felt smoother. I could tell that the brightness was starting. This for me has been and just a showstopper. It's so, so good. Now, one more skincare item, and then we'll go on to makeup. This is from The Ordinary, and if you're not using some sort of a retinol in your skincare regimen, please try to fit it in somewhere, because retinol, retin-A, trentinoin, those are all the gold standards for anti-aging. They go in deep into the layers of the skin, and they build collagen, and collagen is what gives young people that firm, pretty, plumped up look to their skin. And this is what helps your skin bounce back. It's what helps your skin keep from sagging. It's all of those yummy, young skin looking benefits. So retinol is the one that really goes in and really does that. This one from The Ordinary is the Granactive Retinoid 5% in Squalane, highly stable water-free solution of 0.5 ester of all trans retinoic acid. And what I love about this is that even though it is not a prescription, it is a powerhouse retinol agent. And I was very skeptical because I was using a prescription and I thought that that was the only one that you could use that could make a really fast, effective change. This does it. It is a powerhouse. They do have this in a 2%. So let me just warn you right now that if you are starting on Retin-A into your skincare regimen, go and get the 2% because the 5% is gonna be too much. This one for me gives me so much less irritation than the actual prescription does of Retin-A that I can use this on my very, very sensitive skin, get the same benefits at the 5% and really feel that exceptional change to my skin. Again, any sort of product like this is going to take several months. So it might take three months, it might take six months, it might take a year, but you're gonna start to notice more and more benefits. I started Retin-All about the fifth five years ago so this has really been a cumulative effect it really has started to really show up and i also feel like since i've incorporated this by the way i don't use the prescription anymore i use this and i use a truth treatments um, gel one which is very very expensive i'll list it below but know that you can get some great benefits from this with your sensitive skin if you want to use this in conjunction with your prescription, you can, but I warn you once again, please take everything slow. Don't go at this gangbusters. You will hate retinol if you do that. You will have so much irritation and, and shedding and you know your skin being raw and inflamed. If you do that, you're not gonna stick with it. And that's really the key to how well these products work for retinol is sticking with it for the long haul and you will see changes. And that one to me and the 2% one, which is the one I did start with, is such a gold standard for my skin. Okay, let's talk about makeup because it's stuff that I love the most. All right, I want to tell you about this beauty sponge. And mine looks like it's been in the war. You know, it's been trampled on. I did just use this for a tutorial, so it's pretty dirty. This is the one from EcoTools. What I love about this is this is a biodegradable makeup sponge. That's the first thing I love about it. So all the makeup sponges that we've been getting, none of them are gonna degrade for some amount of crazy years on the earth, but this one will. And that's why I don't mind it looking a little bit tattered because I know that this is going to eventually degrade and be earth friendly, right? So I like that about it, but I also love all the little curvatures that it has. It's straight across here, cut across the top in a straight line. It also has these great cuts across it for getting right underneath if you need to underneath your eyes. And then it has, you know, the bulb side where you can really, you know, just pat your makeup in. 
It is so much softer than the Beauty Blender. It doesn't pick up like more makeup or anything than the Beauty Blender does, but it is really soft. I think that it's way nicer than the Beauty Blender. So the ones that I've been getting off of Amazon, I do love those as well, but I think that I'm gonna switch over to using this one just because it's so much better for the environment and it's really soft and really applies the makeup really well. All right, a brush that I wanna tell you about that I use in almost every single tutorial is this huge Kabuki fan brush. It's from Coastal Scents. But I also can link one that is basically a dupe that you can get off of Amazon. And it's the identical brush. It's got the same thickness. It is the same softness. It's great. So this brush is what I use all the time for all of my contour and my bronzer. It's fanned out enough that you can pinch it and use it into the contour areas that you need to or you can just let go of it and then it really buffs in because you're going to be able to really smush those bristles it br bristles in not bristle sprouts come on bristles in they're really easy to just buff everything out and it is so fluffy that it really doesn't leave anything with any streaks or like today i was using a different contour than i've normally used and i went like this and i put it down it was like bam I was like, oh no, but I could just let go of it then and then just go ahead and buff it in and it does such a great job. I can use this for everything if I want to on a specific day, if I'm in a hurry. So I'll put my bronzer on, I'll put my highlighter on with it and I'll put my blush on. And then if I need to just dab across a little bit, I can put my powder on with it. So invaluable brush gets used every single time I do my makeup without fail. Now, speaking of powders, this is a new powder from ColourPop, and I know a few people have talked about this, but I don't think they're talking about how good this powder is. It's the new Pretty Fresh Powder Pressed Powder from ColourPop. They have a loose version, which I am not that impressed with, but the pressed version is absolutely lovely. I have mine in light six, and I think this is one of the nicest powders I've ever tried. I like it so much better than I like Charlotte Tilbury's. I, I'm not a great big fan of Charlotte Tilbury's. I have several powders that act like that. But this powder, if you have felt the Kosas powder that everybody talks about where it it just has this dreamy light texture to it. And when you go into it, you don't pick up a ton of powder. I mean, it's there and you can tell that it's there and you're getting powder, but at the same time, it's so light and so airy that it's not going to put too much powder down to where you're cakey. So if you're a mature woman that has dry skin and you struggle with powder, give this a try because it's that light. It is that easy to work with. It just gives you such a soft, ethereal look to your skin and it will hide all of those pores as you press it into wherever you have big pores. It's gonna keep the makeup break apart at bay that I get around my nose and on my chin. It helps that and yet it never looks cakey. I also love that it is a compact that you can throw in your purse and it does have a mirror. So I think that's great about it too. So ColourPop for this price point, Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. All right, I think we're down to number seven and that is this eyebrow gel from the Ulta collection. I don't think there are even a handful of products that I can say that I'm in love with from the Ulta collection. If you have favorites from the Ulta collection that you swear by, will you let me know that down in the comment section so that I can try them? Because I've tried so many of their products and have not been impressed with them. But this is the Brow Tint Gel, and I believe that mine is in taupe. Nope, mine is in pale, light pale. So this doesn't really have fibers down in there, but this little brush, look how tiny that little brush is. Holy smokes. Even compared to some of the other brushes that we have that we get from other companies. So I went and grabbed my Kosas. Okay, so this is the Kosas brush, right? Little brush, little tiny spoolie, but take a look at it next to look at that how teeny that little Ulta brush is. Okay, not only is it good for the actual little brush and catching every little teeny hair that you have as you're doing your eye, eyebrows, it also has a, a great laminated effect. And that sounds terrible to say that because it almost seems like it's gonna be sticky or it's gonna be kind of crusty or crinkly. Well, it's not. It is a little bit on the side of it's going to be very gel-like and hold those brows in place, especially I think I've told you guys before that I have two or three little hairs on this side of my eyebrows that just stick straight down like they just want to go straight down 
I can put this in and, you know, lift them up, put them where they're supposed to be, and they're there at the end of the day. So great product. I love it for holding the brow hair in place. Now, the rest of these are going to be three lippy products that I feel are so good. So, so good. And I discovered all of them very re fairly recently. First of all, the Exaggerate Rimmel Liners. These are such good lip liners. I love the shape of them. I First of all, I love that they're automatic, so you don't have to mess with that. But can you see how it's angled right there? So each time you push that up, the angle is going to stay there because as you line your lips, it's going to wear down that exact way in that, that exact angle. So you still have that tip at the end. The colors in this are so good. Again, I am so impressed with this. Very kind of almost like a medium creamy formula that has a lot of staying power. So this is the first one. This is the one that I use today. This is Enchantment. I really love that one. And then the second one that I have, this one is a very nude color. This is called Innocent. This is a great color to wear with some of your more pinky colors or some, some days if you just want just that nude color. I'm a little bit self tan right now, so it's a little bit light. But if you're anywhere from fair to medium, this is a beautiful nude color for you. It's so good. And then the last one that I have is East End Snob. So we have that one that is that like really bright pink. And then we have this one right here that's like a muted blue pink. Um, I want to try so many of the other ones of these. I could only find these on Amazon. I cannot find these like if I go into my Walgreens or CVS, these just aren't there. So I'm really excited to be able to find them. My Walmart doesn't carry anything from Rimmel anymore. So this is a great find for me and a really, really good lip liner that I can, you know, draw outside the lip lines with and have a great pout. The other two products are from the Sephora collection. Now it can be argued that the Sephora collection is not affordable, but at $14 for a lipstick that acts high end, I feel like it really truly is. So this are, these are the Rouge Shine lipsticks and I have fallen absolutely in love with these. I had two of them. And then I, at the sale this last time, I went back and I got as many as I could. Watch for the sales from Sephora because not just during the VIB, also other times of the year, they will have their Sephora collection go 30% off. And that's how I got these. Now I'm gonna have a hard time reading the bottom of these because I'm here to tell you, these are impossible to read. So I'm gonna just have it go up on the screen as I'm swatching them for you so that you can see them. This is a medium nude pink. Love this. Look at the shine in this product. Isn't that just a great shine? Um, it just is one that I think is so pretty. And I think that this is so comparable to the Dior lipsticks. So many of them that they have out right now. This is the one that I have on. And this is kind of a bright rose color. So beautiful. I absolutely love that. This next one is a very nude color. This one reminds me of one of the ones from MAC. And I can't remember ever what color it is. But this is it's so close to it, even the texture of it. These are a very balmy lipstick, but they definitely have pigment to them. So you're not just getting a balm product. Here is kind of a more pale pink, a more bluish pink color right there. Oh, I just love that so much. And then I have another nude that is just a little bit a uh, little bit deeper, a little bit more along the lines of getting into the peachy colors a little bit on that one. So, oh gosh, I love all these. And then I have one that is a very violet color. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. But you know what? When you put it on, because it is that balm, it just looks so gorgeous. Let me go ahead and put this one on for you. I have the other one on, but I'll go ahead and I'll just kind of dab this one off a little bit. I do have a rag in my lap, so you know that. And I'll put this one on top. Pow. It just is so bright and so pretty and i just think that they're all just stunners so i think that this is a product that is highly overlooked to me it is such a high-end product and when you can get them at that 30 percent off they're close to the ten dollar mark which is how much you get a lot of lipsticks at the drugstore now anyway the last product that i want to show you are the gloss lipsticks from them 
these are incredible i it's this one color in particular i'll show you this one first this first one is called wild and as you can see in the tube it's a cast between a purple and a little bit of pink in there so it's a clear gloss it goes on clear to begin with i don't have a dang place to put it so it goes on clear to begin with and then it just gives a tiny shift to it can you see that shift in there just a little tiny bit so put that on top of any matte lipstick or whatever and it's going to be gorgeous this one which is called money i am absolutely over the moon wear this almost every day now cannot live without this color it is it goes on like this gold color that you see but it shifts to a pink so when you put it on any sort of a pink lipstick it looks incredible on top of a pink lipstick and it shifts between that gold and that pink i don't wear gold i don't wear gold on my eyes i don't wear it anywhere but boy this is pretty and again i will try to just dab some of this off a little bit so that i can try this on and show you how beautiful this is you could see that right off the bat look at that right off the bat that gold shines through but then you can see that pink shift and it's just this light catching iridescent look it is so beautiful and i am just i am over the moon happy with this i'm going to get a couple backups to come in my fridge for when they discontinue because everybody discontinues colors and formulas and i don't want to be without this i think it's so pretty so that is my 10 products that i feel like every woman should have in her makeup or beauty bag i hope that you did enjoy this do you agree with some of these have you tried them do you disagree have you tried them and you don't like it let us know that all in the comment section and what is your affordable makeup pick that you could not live without i would love to hear that please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here thanks so much for being a part of my channel and my life in particular you guys lift me up more than you know thanks again take care of yourselves i love you much and i'll catch you in my next video Bye, my friends.